Although few individuals still fail to adhere to the set regulations, movement between 8 in the evening and 5 in the morning has been minimal since the regulations came into effect. We thank our, our citizens or the resident of commerce. There is a high level of compliances, but of course there is also no compliance to few individuals. And that this does not mean that our people are not adhering. And those, we are continuing with our operation to educating our people, to sensitizing our people on the importance of, of, of compliance with the COVID-19. However, Commissioner Shikongo emphasized that movement is not completely prohibited during these hours for essential and emergency service providers that the community might need as long as a permit is provided. Members of the community that get sick in the middle of the night or after 8 or by 8, and they want to call the taxi driver to come and pick them and take them to the hospital. There are families that come from work after eight, and when arriving home, only kids, and only to realize that the power or the, the, the electricity is off. And that particular person needs to go to the service station to buy electricity. Those are essential services. The curfew does not just say nobody should move, but the curfew is put in place in order to control the movement of people that are just moving unnecessarily. Because we know traditionally we have got people in this city who just move around to eight, now I'm going to visit my friend or I'm going to drink. The curfew was introduced for Ventuk, Okahanja and Rehoboth, as well as for Arandes, Swakopmund and Valves Bay, as the whole country reverted to stage three of the state of the emergency as a result of increasing cases of COVID-19 across the country. Selima Henok, NBC News, Ventuk.